Hi YouTube and welcome to another video. Now this is one of a series of vlogs that I'm going to be doing from Wales that you'll be seeing uh, going up over the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to be up here for about four to five days and trying to visit some iconic locations, nice compositions, trying to get some cool light or mood in the sky and just basically come away with some nice portfolio images. Um, now this is the second vlog from Wales so far. I did one this morning which was at Tor Moor which is that iconic lighthouse on the southeast side of Anglesey. That one that was built around 1870, that may be wrong, I'll correct it if, uh, if I've got it wrong, and that island which I'm not going to pronounce because <laughs> I'll get that wrong. Um, but that really cool lighthouse there with the nice steps going up to it. Did have some really nice light there this morning. We had nice um, kind of sunrise, put some really nice golden side light colours onto the lighthouse with some nice uh, colour in the sky as well. So if you've not seen that, um, check the link um, that will pop up here if you want to watch that one as well. Um, now, this location I've come to now, it's another lighthouse on Anglesey, and I've come right to the top here by Hollyhead, and I'm going to go and look at South Stack Lighthouse. Now, it is somewhere I have been to in the past, several years ago, but I've never done any photography here. So this is going to be the first time me photographing this location. Um, it's a really cool lighthouse, and you can shoot down onto it from the, the cliff here, taking in the lighthouse, the island, Obviously this drama of the water, the sky, and you can also get this really nice lead in line of the path that goes down to the lighthouse. So I'm looking forward to getting out. Unfortunately, the weather is totally different to it was this morning. Uh, gone are those kind of nice clouds, clear skies. Instead, we've got a lot of mist, a lot of haze, and a weather front that's coming in. It's been raining on and off for the last four or five hours. It was predicted and I think it's going to be pretty bad all night as well. But we might get a bit of break in the, that kind of weather. Might get a bit of drama and definition in the skies just to add some dramatic and moody scenes. I'm hoping we do because it is equinox. It's the autumn equinox today and the lighthouse or the sun is going to be setting right behind the lighthouse here. So I might be able to get some nice images just as that sun hits the, the horizon. Time will tell. It is quite windy up here as well, and I can hear now the wind is blowing uh, the van around quite a lot. There's also a couple that are just walking for, down the cliff now in front of me, and they are getting blown around quite a lot. So I have a feeling when I get out there, it's going to be very windy. So I apologise in advance if this vlog doesn't come out the best quality, but hopefully uh, the images will. Um, I'll catch up with you in probably about an hour's time for me simply because uh, I don't need to get down there for about an hour until the, it gets a bit close towards the sunset and I've got a bit of the, the rugby torch from the World Cup. I'm going to get on with that now and I'll catch up with you in a little while down at the location. I'm a travelling spirit, I've seen many shores From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya they treat me like a son anywhere I go. And even though. I'm down at the location, and you're gonna to have to forgive me, it is horrendously windy. In fact, it's so windy that my ears are actually ringing from the wind. Um, so it's not great at all. I've got water on the front of this phone as well, and it looks like from here it's all over the lens, which is kind of behind the screen protect on the phone, so I can't get to it very well. So apologies if it's a bit soft this video and apologies in advance for the wind and the terrible audio. I've got the external mic on, it is underneath this coat, but I guarantee it's going to be so muffled and probably really hard to understand. So it's not going to be a very long vlog, it's going to be a pretty quick one. Now it's very windy and it's quite gusty, but you can actually get just the other side of the wall um, here without getting too close to the edge. And I've come down here kind of on my hands and knees. Um, so I've been pretty safe, although I wouldn't probably recommend it. Um, it's not a big drop where I am anyway, and the path is just below me. So I know I'm safe, um, but please, if you're gonna do stuff like this, make sure it's safe before you do it. I would not recommend it. Um, the reason I've come to it is because I wanna get this composition involving uh, some of the footpath here, um, looking up towards the lighthouse. 
Um, I've got filters on and I have been taking a few shots, although it's just started to rain. So I think those filters are going to have to come back off, unfortunately. And I think I'm probably just going to have to shoot with the lens hood on there to try and keep some of that water off. I think I can get away with it by doing HDRs. Um, it's not a massively underbalanced scene anyway. It's quite well balanced because the, the sky is so overcast. I probably don't need to do HDRs, but I want to be trying to get as much drama and as much mood and definition in that sky as I can. So HDRs will enable me to do that. The images that I'm actually getting on the back of the camera now are really, really nice. And I'm shooting really basically just with my 0.9 hard grad. And that is level straight with the horizon because the lighthouse is quite a lot below it. Um, and shooting with the 16 to 35 mil quite wide, I'm getting a really nice amount of vignetting. We're kind of into the sunset time now, just probably um, about 10 minutes away from it. And we get some really nice blue haze, really nice blue kind of colors and pastel tones in the image. Um, you might be able to see it on the back of the camera here if it exposes properly. You should be able to see that we're getting some really nice, um, you have to forgive me with the uh, video today as well, I'm not able to use my gimbal, um, so I don't exactly uh, know where to point the camera. It's gonna be very shaky. But I'm getting some actually really nice images, and even though we're not getting that light and we're not getting the brakes in the couch yet, and it's raining and it's windy, uh, I'm actually getting quite a nice image, so it's still worth getting up here. Um, if I'd driven hours to get here, it would have been very frustrating and annoying. But as it is, I'm in the area anyway. I wanted to come here to try and get some drama in the skies. I think I should just be able to manage to do that. Um, I'm going to be doing a few different shots now. I'm going to be doing some portraits as well as the landscapes are already done, um, which should get me some nice long um, kind of shots or tall shots, sorry, with some nice amount of uh, sky in the scene. Hopefully it'll come out quite nicely. I'm gonna crack on with that. I'll get some of those shots in the bag and I'll catch up with you in a few minutes time. Right, you have to forgive the really extremely bad angle. Um, I'm quite busy. I'm having to keep on drying my filters. Um, but I'm really liking the scene now. What's happened is we've got a load of mist um, and kind of light rain that started to come into the scene. And by shooting with this lens, which uh, I am a massive fan of, to be honest, because it does give quite a nice lot of um, contrast. And it does also give us a lot of nice uh, vignetting. It's given us a really nice, cool, soft image. Um, and to be honest, I think it's something nicer than if we had really red skies. It's really given a surreal look to the scene. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare because I keep on having to wipe these filters. I get about three images at best and I can't do long exposures because of the wind. Um, but it is making a really nice image. Um, what I quickly have to do each time is set up the filter get a shot and pretty much try and block the wind from getting to it. So it's not easy at all. Um, but I'm really liking the images. Um, and it's quite funny actually this vlog because I had um, a guy a few days ago say to me in one of the videos, because um, I do shoot a lot of moody uh, bad weather scenes. It's not always <laughs> what I want to do, it's just you got to make the best of the, the situation, I think. But I had a guy that pretty much said that, um, you know, why do I always go to bad weather? Okay, the images might be good, but you get wet, you get cold, it's uncomfortable, and it's a lot nicer just to shoot what he called Goldilocks weather, um, where, you know, it's not too cold, not too hot, just about perfect, really. Um, this is a classic example of why. So although it's uncomfortable, it's windy, um, not massively cold yet, it's still September, so we're not into proper winter yet. 
um, but it allows you to get these really cool surreal images and they even look nice on the back of the camera with a bit of mist on the filter it gives it that kind of surreal look the only thing with using the filters with water on there although it does give a nice cool look um, I'm well aware that it will put a lot of bad effects on the image especially if I'm shooting higher apertures um, but it just shows don't just write a scene off I've come here today I've sat in the van for about an hour thinking nothing's gonna happen um, and shooting now because of the time of day I am getting a nice bit of pink haze in the sky um, I'm getting some nice moods, some nice drama in the water and the way the mist and the haze is coming into the scene now it's really really making these images and it's turned what has, could have been a really bad scene into something that I think is really going to work and, and be really nice. Now this had two options for me today, it either had definition in the sky which would have given me a nice moody scene um, or it had overcast. Um, I'm lacking that definition that I wanted but the mist has come in and made that kind of overcast sky work. It's made that kind of white out sky kind of blend in with the mist and the hazy um, overall scene. And it's really made a surreal nice image. And I think with a bit of ed editing and a bit of post work, we should get some really nice images from this. Now I'm going to apologize again. I don't know what the audio is going to be like this. I'm sorry about the angle. I've got the uh, camera or the phone propped up on the rock here if I put it anywhere else anywhere high it's going to get blown over I'm probably going to finish talking now um, I've just got too much to do with wiping the filters trying to get the shots um, I hope this vlog shows that even in the worst situation um, try and get out there because sometimes and a lot of the time it will work out good um, thanks for watching this one i hope these images do come out quite nicely i won't be able to tell it on the computer they're those type of shots um, if you have liked it please consider subscribing like i quite often say but there will be more uh, vlogs coming up from the future um, in wales like i said for the next couple coming up i'm either going to be spending another shoot on anglesey maybe at another lighthouse um, or i'm going to be heading off to snowdown here for most of the rest of the time i'm in wales um, thanks for watching um, hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I'll catch up with you on one of the ones coming up.